dear learners topic of this session is on polynomial factoring there are many method for our complete factorization so for the beginning we need a algebraic expansion for factoring so kindly try to memorize a factoring formula as the first one a plus b raised to the power of 2 equal to a power 2 plus 2ab plus b square number 2 is a minus b to the power of 2 which is equal to a to the power of 2 minus 2ab plus b to the power of 2 number 3 is a power 2 minus b power 2 which is equal to a plus b times a minus b number 4 factoring formula is a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b times a to the power of 2 minus ab plus b to the power of 2 and at last a cube minus b cube which is equal to a minus b times a power 2 plus ab plus b power 2 if you are thorough with this set of factoring formulae you can do all the simple problems based on the factorization now i will explain with a simple example the question is factor completely relative to the integers 3x to the power of 3 minus 48 times x how to factorize this first of all there are two terms in this algebraic form or we call it as polynomial this is cubical polynomial degree of the polynomial is 3 3x power 3 minus 48x please check is there is any common factor among these two term 3 and 48 first of all we have to check the coefficient 3 is the common factor among 3 and 48 x cube x term x is the common factor among these two so i am going to take out okay 3x 3x as a common factor then the remaining become x power 2 minus 16 now 16 can be written as 3x times x to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 i rewrite this 16 as 4 power 2 in the next step now i can factorize this factor x power 2 minus 4 power 2 using a power 2 minus b power 2 formula so how to factorize this now 3x times a plus b into a minus b a here is x and b here is 4 so x plus 4 times x minus 4 this is a simple example for factoring or completely factors using factoring formula now i'm dealing with the next example by factor completely using grouping method so i'm taking this as my polynomial as example 2x to the power of 2 plus 6 times x plus 5 times x plus 15 there are four terms in this polynomial so you have to arrange as a group now i am arranging first and second term as one group and third and fourth term as a second group from first and second i'm taking 2 as a common factor and x as a another common factor see first and second term i take i took 2x as a common factor the remaining is x plus 3 plus from the third and fourth term i take 5 as a common factor among this third and fourth term 5 times the remaining is x plus 3 see the second solution become second form of solution become two terms 2x times x plus 3 plus 5 times x plus 3 from this two i can take x plus 3 as a common term x plus 3 times the remaining is 2x plus 5 this is the way we can factorize using grouping method when three or more terms are given 
I will explain with another good example the same grouping method problem. 2xy plus xz minus 6 times yw minus 3 times yz. There are 4 terms in this polynomial. I am making group as first and second one checking. The common is x as a common factor and the third and fourth term as 3 times w as a common factor. I am taking common along with the negative sign because third and fourth term term having negative as a common factor I can take negative also. Now first two become x times of 2 y plus z the remaining form minus 3 times w times of 2 y plus z as a common factor of third and fourth. Now from this two I can take 2 y plus z as a common factor 2 y plus z the remaining is x minus 3 z. Now I am going to discuss with factor polynomial using integer coefficient is another method. Method 1 is using factoring formula, second method is by grouping method if possible. Now come to the third idea is factor polynomial using integer coefficient. So see the coefficient of this polynomial all the terms a square coefficient is 1, a coefficient is negative 8 and the constant term is plus 12, positive 12. How to factorize this three terms of polynomial using the idea of integer coefficient? So, a square coefficient is 1, I am multiplying 1 times 12, it become 12. I am taking a coefficient as negative 8. Now, I need two numbers, multiplying it become positive 12 and adding the same two number become negative 8. So, what are the two numbers? Negative 6 and negative 2. If you multiply these two, you will get positive 12. If you are adding these two, you will get negative 8. So, replace the middle number negative a times a as a power 2 minus 6a minus 2a plus 12. I replace negative 8 as negative 6 times a and negative 2 times a. It is nothing but negative 8 times a. Now, I got 4 terms. Now, I am applying grouping algorithm. See, I am taking a as a common term from the first two terms. a is a common. Remaining is a minus 6. From the third and fourth terms, I took negative 2 as a common term. It become a minus 6. Now, from this two term, I can take a minus 6 as a common factor, the remaining is a minus 2. So, the factors form of a power 2 minus a times a plus 12 is a minus 6 times a minus 2. I will explain with one more good example by combining the grouping algorithm along with integer coefficient concept. See this 10 times x cubed times y plus 25 times x squared times y power 2 minus 15 times x times y power 3. So, among the three terms in the polynomial, I can take first of all 5 times x y as a common term. The remaining become 2 x squared plus 5 times x y minus 3 y power 2. With this factor, I can go with integer coefficient concept. So, I am multiplying 2 with this negative 3 it become negative 6 and the middle x y coefficient as positive 5 x y coefficient as positive 5. Now, I need two numbers multiplying I need negative 6 adding same two number become positive 5. What are the two numbers you can go with that 6 and negative 1. So, if you multiply this you will get negative 6 if you are adding this you will get positive 5. Now, I can replace 5 times x y with these two numbers as 6 times x y and negative x times y. See, I did. So, 5 x y times of 2 x power 2 plus 6 times x y minus x y minus 3 times y to the power of 2. Now, we can go with grouping idea inside this factor. From this two factor, I can take 
2 and x as a common factor. The remaining is x plus 3y. Now from third and fourth, I can take negative y as a common factor. The remaining is x plus 3y. So, from this two, I can take x plus 3y as a common factor. So, the things have become 5 times xy, 5 times xy is already a common factor. In the first step itself, we uh, taken out and the remaining is x plus y, x y, x plus 3y times 2x minus y. So, now see this example for factor completely. Another interesting and challenging problem. So, how many terms are there in this polynomial? Only two terms in this polynomial. Four times 2x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 times x power 2 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus 6 times x times 2x minus 3 raised to the power of 4 times x power 2 plus 2 all to the power of 2. So, there are two terms among these two. What are the common terms? First of all, we have to consider. Four 6 is the coefficient. I can take 2 as a common factor of 4 and 6. Okay? I took 2 as a common factor. Then from the second fact 2x minus 3 factor see from the two term 2x minus 3 whole power 2 here 2x minus 3 whole to the power of 4. I can take a 2x minus 3 power 2 as a common factor. Now, come to the third one x power 2 plus 2 raised to the power of 3 x power 2 plus 2 raised to the power of 2 least power we use to take out as a common factor x power 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 times the remaining we have to write correctly 2 times from the first term what are the remaining 2 times x power 2 plus 2 is a first term remaining as a factor plus from the second term 3 is there. 3 is remaining, 2 we already taken out as a common factor from 6. So, x is remaining and x 2 x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 is remaining factor available in the from the second term of the polynomial. Now, I can go with multiplying by opening the bracket inside the square bracket. 2 times x power 2 is 2 x power 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Now, 3 times x times 2 x is 6 before that sorry before that you have to open this bracket a using a minus b to the power of 2 a square minus 2 a b plus b power 2. So, a power 2 is 4 x square multiply times 3 times x become okay it become 12 x power 2 we can go with that form. Be, so, before that please expand this using the factoring formula okay a minus b to the power of 2 I did. Now, I am going to multiply this factor with 3 times x it become 12 x cube minus 36 x power 2 plus 9 times 3 x is 27 x. Now, simplify this terms inside the square bracket as so first of all 12 x cube term as it is the remaining factors are as it is you can't simplify the outside uh, common factors. So, simplify inside the square bracket only x 12 x cube term is there as a first term 2 x square minus 36 x square I can make it as minus 34 x power 2 and come to the x term is 27 x I did as it is 27 x and the constant term is 4. four. So, this is the uh, form or a complete factor form of the given polynomial with two terms. Okay, I did this one. So, thank you very much. Hope you enjoy my session. Okay, if you interested, like, share, and comment along with your subscription. I need. Thank you.